Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Huskies and the Cougars, a deep-seated rivalry in the state of Washington. Today, Washington and Washington State square off in the battle for the Apple Cup. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Washington will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Taken from the 10. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 36. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. And for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. The Cougars have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Got it, and brought down immediately. And for Marks... He's just notched a new school record for single-season passing. He's taken apart every secondary they've faced, and now he's got this great achievement to show for it. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. Smith was the intended receiver on that pass, and that will make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Livingston is back deep to return the punt. Livingston takes it at the 23 brought down at the 35 yard line good job by the defense to force a punt on the first series boy the crowd was loud and did their part now if they're able to move the ball downfield they can take control of this game early now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it throw to the tight end and in and out of his hands Simpson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second, second and ten. ten. Ball on the 35 yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop at the 32. You know, having a playmaker in tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. Catch 
catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That's a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second and 13. Ball on the 34. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Java awaiting the return. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Complete. He's got room. Tackle around the 26-yard line. That'll make it second and four. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. Brown picks up around five yards with that catch. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. He gets rid of this one. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Stepping up, and he hits him hard at the 40-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Here they come. Fires out quickly, incomplete. to punt. Got the corner. Livingston fields it at the 27. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. He steps out around the 36-yard line. Makes his way out to about the 25. He fights forward to about the 23. Makes it out to about the 13. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. And down he goes at the three. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. 
down. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So a seven-play, 61-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The Huskies really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled at the 35. That makes it second and two. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Throws incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. That'll make it fourth and two. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Up the middle for a nice game. Washington is up by a touchdown. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Strike to his receiver, no good. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That makes it fourth and four. Freeman is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Washington's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 7-0, Washington. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Quick out to his receiver, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Third and six. Ball on their own 43. As 
a man he'll lose big yards. And for Colbert, he brings his reception total to 60. He's become one of the real go-to guys in this offense. And when you see him out there, there's no wonder why. this close you can't afford to waste possessions Washington is up seven he's under pressure and he can't get away from the pressure well we talked all week with these coaches and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends they thought that they might be able to hold up against him maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside but right now whatever they thought they might be able to do they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Mike 13, Mike 13. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 32-yard line. He fires this one. In and out of his hands. That makes it fourth and long. Chavez is back deep to return. Chavez fields it at the 34. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy. But he's got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. He's hit and taken down. That's a D-11 play. Mike 10! First down. Mike 10, Mike 10. Roger, Roger. Aiden's getting the ball here. Aiden's getting the ball. They'll bring him down at the 24. Grabs it and hammered right there. That makes it second and ten. Zips it to the back. Ball is loose. Fumble. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. Great example of an opportunistic defense coming up with the fumble. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Washington, up seven points. Gets out to around the 35. That makes it second and two. down around the 38 yard line fires it out he's taken down the 37 yard line perfect time for the play action pass well here the defense 
defense is looking for the run, and the play action put them in even a worse position. They just weren't ready for the pass there. They'll get him for a loss. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Defense. defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. And he's leveled at the 29-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That makes it second and two. He's at the 20. Makes his way out to about the 15. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 15. He makes his way out to about the 6. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up 9 on the play. Washington is up a score. Greer off the fake. And he is drilled at the one. They'll knock him down for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That brings him second to goal. Touchdown, Washington! converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 73 yard drive, and the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 21. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ball game. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 21. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws in a hurry. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Quick pass. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. That's a great tackle. That's the 48. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And they push him out at the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, it's second down.
He's at the 40. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Washington State will take their second time out of the half. This is the ninth play of this drive. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. man can't tack on any yardage seven yard play the slant is so hard to defend when the pass is right on the money but at least the defense was there to keep it from turning into a bigger play and he's taken down at the 19 yard line It's almost picked off. We've played a half of football. Washington leads it 14 0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look, you know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy? Not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give him that underneath, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting him you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let them throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Got it to his man on the screen. And down he goes at the 29. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 37. They've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Good tackle there in space. That brings up second and nine. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 43. Pull 
Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled in the open field. From the 27-yard line, first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Five wide. He's on the run, and he's sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So that sack leaves them with some work to do. It's third down and 14. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Yeah, blue 90. Wants to throw outside. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Freeman is hoping to boom this one down the field. And it goes out of bounds at the one-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Colbert takes the give. Safety. It's all a matter of taking care of the football knowing where you are on the field and not making mistakes. A safety is almost always a breakdown in one of those categories.
He's taken down at the 44. We're about set to start things up again. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. He steps up, and he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 45-yard line, second down. Caught open field. He's taken down at about the 29 yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Tackles him hard at the 11 yard line. And he's tackled at the two yard line. five-yard line those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run but they need to be careful the play action pass you can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air so it's third down now and they're gonna need about four the sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set he's gonna try and scramble and he's taken down at the three-yard line It's up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. King from the four. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Washington's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers. The way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage, I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Great concentration to haul it in. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. And he just gets rid of it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 42. rid of this one that's a great tackle at the 30 yard line Fourth and long here after the sack. Bass is waiting for the snap. And down he goes at the 43.
So we're just about ready to return to action. There's a strike complete. He's down. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. The Huskies in front by 19. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Two down, two down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Pitch out, and he is hit immediately. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Tackle at the 32. Dunbar on the run. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. And they make the stop right around the 18-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Sets them up for the first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's the halfback. He fights forward to about the 10. That brings him second and goal. Toss play. Tackle made at the 14. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is the 10th play of this drive. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. The Cougars have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. 
Just over two minutes in the game. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. Makes the catch and look out. He goes out of bounds at the 46 yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. From the 46 yard line, it's first down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he is drilled at the 37. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of seven yards. That makes it 37. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Change the mic. Change the mic. Strike to his receiver, no good. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Let's go. Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That brings him second and five. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Williams gets the carry, and they hit him in the backfield. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Washington 22, Washington State nothing. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Washington came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.